How do you talk to your kids about a cancer diagnosis? Well, let's talk about that today on Tips on Teens. My name is Kent Toussaint. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I specialize in helping kids, teens, and families to live happier lives. I lead two organizations, Teen Therapy Center and the nonprofit 501c3 organization, Child and Teen Counseling, both here in Woodland Hills, California. Every Wednesday at noon, I jump on the Facebook Live to answer your parenting questions. Let's answer today's. When Kate Middleton made her cancer announcement about last week, it reminded me of our own situation. My husband has cancer and we haven't told our kids yet. They're eight and 11. We're just not sure if we should tell them everything or if it's better to give them just little pieces. We don't want to scare them. Do you have any advice on how to approach this kind of conversation with kids? <clears throat> yes, thank you for this question. Unfortunately, many families have to deal with this in one way or the other. And the way I would approach is number one, understanding what your kids, where your kids are emotionally and what they are capable of understanding. And that's something that only you can know because you know your kids. It also depends on how serious are the are these symptoms and what is the treatment? If let's say it's very early on, there's not a lot of changes, you may not need to talk much about it at all because it's not really changing their life. If it's a very serious diagnosis and the cancer's really progressed and there's really aggressive treatment, you kind of need to be direct. But it's not less about what you say, it's more about how you say it. Do you explain it to them with compassion and confidence, knowing that you and your husband are doing everything you can to treat this. So let's hypothetically say your husband has to go, sorry, I'm getting a bunch of texts right now, <laughs> has to go through a lot of um, you know, chemo treatment. Well, that's going to affect him considerably and they're gonna see that. So I think it's important to talk to them and help them understand what he's going through, but that you guys are working with doctors and you're doing everything you can to help him feel better. Con Additionally, how do we, and you hear me talk about this all the time, of connection, how do we start creating more space to have quality time between your husband and your kids? You know, God forbid he succumbs to cancer and he passes away, which is a horrible situation, but it's a possibility. If that's the case, we wanna make sure that the kids have as much positive memories and connection with them as they can to take that into uh, life without their dad. But also, even if he does survive, which hopefully he does, maybe that also creates a better connection within the family and more closeness and more trust so you can have more of these conversations in the future. Again, connection is king. It's the most important part of the family. It's just as important as eating and drinking water and good sleep and all those things. Connection is such a big part of a child's developing self-esteem, self-worth, and view of the world. So regardless of the obstacles that are in your way, and every family will deal with obstacles, the more open and honest you can be from a place of compassion and confidence, I think that's what helps your kids. And through that lens, I think you'll know what you need to share with them and what you don't need to share. And again, what you share with an eight and 11 year old may be different than a 16 and 19 year old. You know, They may have very different conversations. Every family is gonna be different and unique, so I can't give you exactly what to share, what not to share, because it really depends on your kids and your family, but strengthen the connection, strengthen the ability to talk about these things in a place of compassion. I think that will lead you to the right place. If you need help, you can always consult with a therapist, a grief therapist, or, you know, a therapist who focuses on kids and teens would be great help for you guys too. Anyways, that's our question for today on Tips on Teens. My name is Kent Toussaint. If you'd like me to answer your question here on Tips on Teens, email us at tipsonteens at teentherapycenter.com or direct messages right here on Facebook. We love your questions. Thank you so much. This is Kent Toussaint with Teen Therapy Center and Child and Teen Counseling, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.